guys, welcome to my channel up here at Nene's Northern Prepper. I'm up here at the Walmart store, and I'm about to go inside and see how the prices are looking. Um, from what I've been in reading, we are going to see a 100% uh, jump in some of our food prices. That is quite a jump, and that is only till next month. Okay, that's right around the corner. So, um, I definitely want to keep an eye on, you know, these prices for sure. So, uh, let's get inside and uh, check them out. Well, I'm going to start with potatoes. It's looking at five forty-four for 10 pounds of the russet potatoes and seven thirty-eight for the jumbo. Um, that potatoes are one thing that we are definitely going to see go skyrocketing, guys. So, uh, maybe grab them now and, you know, hope for the best. I do have some turkey and These are a dollar ninety-eight a pound for the shab uh, shabby brook and a dollar twenty-eight for the butterball turkeys. 98 cents for the Jenny O's. So, if you need a turkey, might get what I heard that those might be hard to get here coming up. And they're talking about our ground beef skyrocketing. Also, uh, 522 for my ground beef chuck rolls here. Um, here is some steaks, here's some roast. That is 744 a pound for that London broil. I can't imagine it going up any higher. Chuck tender roast, 746 a pound. Can you guys imagine it being any higher than what it is right now? I can't. Um, it's going to make food totally uh, where you can't afford to get it. And to me, that can be a little bit scary. Uh, here's some yellow stickers. Sizzle steak for ten fifty for that pack, and uh, down here check for seven forty-seven a pound, and some stew meat six forty-eight a pound. Here's some more yellow stickers over here on some baby back ribs seven seventy-seven for that pack, seven oh five for the other. So uh, definitely, if you see uh, meat on sale, grab it. Also some pork chops down here that they have priced down. You are saying chicken's going to be hard to come by again. Um, I've had no problem finding chicken. Actually, I have a lot of chicken right now. But they're saying that it's going to be hard to find again. Uh, which will cause it to be up there in price for sure. So, um, here's some here, 1663. That's 297 a pound. The bacon looks like I'm seeing a few empty spots. The price of one pound of great value bacon, $8.87. It's pretty pricey for one pound of bacon. Uh, here's some here. This is a uh, country farmhouse for $4.22. $10.98 for Oscar Mayer bacon. Just totally unreal. I can't imagine food going up any higher than what it is. Looks like we're having a empty shelf problem, maybe on some of the barbecue sauce. Got a couple shelves empty on it. Price of barbecue sauce even gone up. The open pit has gone up. I remember that was like under a dollar for even the barbecue sauce. Dollar eighty four for some craft. This is smaller sweet baby rays. But uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. If you're planning on buying some of uh, the Bruce's yams, they're $2.96 for the larger can of yams, $1.57 for the smaller one. So they do have them now, but I don't know about later. And the vegetables, 64 cents a can for the peas and corn, the Walmart brand. Del Monte or Libby's is 98 cents a can. And if you come down here, this one here is completely empty. It looks like 
I'm trying to see here what the four pack of Libby says 346. And I'm not seeing any of the four pounds of great value peanut butter. They do have two pounds, three ninety-eight for it and six ninety-seven for the Jeff. Jiffy peanut butter, three twelve for the one pound, six or for the sixteen ounce, three twelve. Pasta stall, ninety-eight cents per pound. So I got buy. So I did here. Pasta may be harder to come by here in the near future. So if you haven't stocked up on your pasta, you might want to do that now. Idaho and potatoes, one forty-four. Now we used to get those for ninety-eight cents. Now a dollar forty-four. Where you can get the great value brand for 98 cents. I just noticed Betty Crocker has one down here, $1.24. That's new here, I had never seen that before. But I was reading, you have to add milk and butter on that one. It's not just add water to it like uh, the Idahoans here. But the Idahoans have no just the butter added to it. Well, they do have these on the Golden Selects that just have butter. I'll take one of them. Rolled back McCormick brown gravy, 97 cents. Not much of a roll back, is it? Down here is some McCormick turkey gravy. Roll back, $1.30. Nah, no, that's, no, that's not a buy. And if you haven't got any of your canned meat products, I urge you strongly to do that. There's quite a few different ones for you to choose from. Get what you like and put some back. Another thing I strongly suggest putting away is some rice and some beans. So many different kinds of beans to choose from, but have some kind of beans put away in your stockpile for sure. Corn oil, $4.98. So I imagine that is probably going to double in price here real soon. $3.97 vegetable oil. The oils that we use, you know, we definitely want to make sure we have plenty of our oils, whether it be olive oil or what, any other kind of oil that you're going to use. Grab it now before it doubles in price. With the wheat shortages, get your flour, definitely. Not seeing a whole lot on my shelf. We do have some here for $2.43, 5 pounds. But that right there is definitely a bear spot. And also sugar. They don't even have a price on the sugar here, so I couldn't tell you how much it is for the 10 pounds or for the 4 pounds. That might tell you that, well, the prices are probably going to go up again. Great value quick oats. $3.98, $5.98 for the uh, Quaker oats. 414 for that small one, 568 for that one. But, you know, you get your oats from wheat, and if wheat is going to be hard to get, well, so is oatmeal. Can you believe 628 for Kellogg's Raisin Bran? <laughs> I cannot get over that price right there. 628 for a box of cereal. Just unreal. Yeah, they, they're trying to definitely price this out. Well, guys, I'm headed out of here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, to Luke, God bless. Stay well, stay safe.